Hi, this is Marnie and Dave Coons back with day hey. 18 of the Light the World, Build the Kingdom Challenge, where each day we ask God what is one thing we can do to light the world and make the world a better place, and then act on whatever comes. So uh, Dave and I had this conversation the other day about how um, everybody wants to belong. You know, everybody wants to feel like they belong, and they also want to feel unique as well. They want to be different. And so I really look at the way people act in the world, and I'm kind of a student of human nature, and I've noticed that people really go to, a, some people go to a lot of extremes to be unique, or to fit in, or to belong, and there's almost, the two are almost diametrically opposed. You think, well, how do you belong and how do you be unique? And there's some people that um, don't like that other people are different, and then there's other people who feel like there's something wrong with them because they're different. And um, so anyway, Dave, has, this is kind of his background of experience where sometimes you haven't always felt like you fit in, right? Well, and, and <laughs> I think that's kind of the, the non sequitur thing is, is I haven't felt like I fit in and I've learned so what. Um, you know, I spent my, a lot of my life trying to fit in, trying to be um, normal, not trying to, trying to be not quite so um, out there, outspoken, uh, creative. Um, and what I realized a few years ago, a friend of mine told me, you know, Dave, there, there are going to be only a few people um, that are like you. And there will be, you know, a smaller percentage of the population that are going to like you. But they are going to like you. And you really need to be who you are because in a lot of ways you give permission uh, when we when we are who we are, we give permission to others to say, "Oh, I can be who I am." Now, I'm not expecting anybody to to be like me and stand up and sing Billy Idol's "Rebel Yell" or or anything like that. But I've noticed that as I've done things in nature and as I've done things um, creatively, written poetry and things like that, other people stand up and say, "Wow, I I could do that." And I think the danger happens is when I was growing up um, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, there were these huge boulevards with he massive stately elm trees. And the city fathers had said, boy, these elm trees are so beautiful. We're going to plant them as they grow up. They'll, they'll create this lush green. And, and they were so gorgeous. And then something happened. Um, and because... Uh, the, the gypsy moth came in, brought the Dutch elm disease, and because there were only elm trees, it basically decimated whole neighborhoods from these beautiful trees. And I realized, and the Irish potato family kind of did the same thing. Everybody was uh, only growing potatoes, so when some blight came in, it basically killed millions of people. Um, and so anytime that we're in... Uh, a situation like that where we're a, a massive group, if we all are the, exactly the same, I think nature points out that that's kind of dangerous. And so, you know, as, as Marnie said, we were kind of talking about, you know, the, the body and the foot shouldn't end up trying to be, you know, in the rib cage with, with the heart. That's not where the foot belongs. And uh, yeah, just right. that. Yeah, like we all... You know, the ear doesn't say, oh, I should be a knee or whatever. But they're all part of the same body. They're all same, going for the same purpose. They're working together. But there's not the competition. There's not the comparison going on. All of the body parts are playing their function. They're accepting who they are. And, and I think, I think yeah. that comparison thing, that's where we were talking the other day. I think that's where I got really excited because I all of a sudden realized... I don't have to compare myself to the accountant. I don't have to compare myself to the lawyer. I don't have to compare myself to the CEO or to Pablo Picasso or anybody. I can just compare myself to me. And I think that's what, what God has been trying to tell me is, is, Dave, just be who you are and be the best Dave that you can be. And that was kind of what we were talking about was, you know, hopefully passing that on to you. Be the best of, discover what it is that you are and be the best at that because it's not a comparison. It's not a competition. I think Heavenly Father looks at us and says, Dave, just be Dave. And that's going to enable Marnie to be Marnie and Fred to be Fred and Jill to be Jill. 
and we'll be all the best that we can be. And as we are the best individually, then collectively we also become the best collection. Yep. Yep. <laughs> all right. So that's our thought for today. Y'all uh, join us in the 90 day challenge if you haven't already. Start in today. You don't have to wait till, you know, we start again or anything. Just pick up right here and ask God what's one thing you can do today to make the world a better place and then just do it. And a lot of that's just going to be be yourself, you know, just be yourself and show up. I'm shy. I'm quiet. Usually, you know, you wouldn't know that from me getting on Facebook <laughs> Live. Uh, but, you know, in small settings, I'm not going to sit up, you know, get up and do the Billy Idol or whatever in the karaoke, but I'll, I'll do some Patsy Cline, you know. So And she does it well. <laughs> so we're everybody's different we need a little bit of everything y'all take care god bless have a wonderful day take care see ya